Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to update VDisk in Citrix provisioning. So for the same, let me show you my infra first. So this is my domain controller and in which I have configured Citrix provisioning services console. And also I have configured DSCP and DNS roles in the same machine. This is my target device, which is running on my current VDisk. As you can see here, it is booted from VDisk and this is the VDisk name. So if I go to the store here, where I have saved my VDisk, so you can see this is the VDisk from which currently our target device is booted. Okay, so now for this video, uh, for this video, our motto is to add or remove some programs from VDisk and actually we just have to update the VDisk. We have got some requirement to uninstall few applications. So, so far as you can see in my current VDisk, I have installed few applications, right? So, let's wait for it. Um, it's Adobe Reader, Google Chrome, and WinRAR. So in this video, what we will do, we will uninstall some applications and add few new applications in this video. So for the same, what I have to do? First, shut down your target device. Let me shut it down. So how to configure the target device, how to create a VDisk. I have already made few videos earlier for those topics. I will paste the video link into the description. You can refer those videos as well. So our target device is powered off now. Now what we have to do, we have to go to the provisioning console. Let me refresh it for now and go to the stores where we have found let it be it is taking some time to get refreshed so anyway so now this is our v disk which is attached to our target device here okay so now to update the v disk do right click on it click on the versions and as you can see the current version of v disk is one so now what we have to do, we have to create a new version. So click on new. And as you can see, at 1036, new version has been created. So you can cross verify uh, from here, like the path, as you can see here. What is the time here? Let me show you. It's at 1030, we have clicked on it at 1036 and one new version has been created. So as you can see here on 1036, there should be some entry here. Yes, you can see here at 1035, VDisk, VDisk hyphen SVR2K19.2 has been already created. Okay, as you can see here, correct. So there might be one second delay, no issue in that. So now what we have to do, go back to your device collection sorry okay so just click here on done <coughs> now go back to the device collections this is our target device and that was the vdisk for the target device okay so go to your target device do right click click on the properties and from type just make it into the production mode and wood from is vdisk for sure click okay now we are good to power on the machine. Why? Because we have now we have to make some changes in this machine. So as you can see, it is booting from the network. And now it is asking to select the VDisk from which you want to boot this target device. So as I shown you, we have created VDisk as we are 2K19.2 just now. So type two here. And now it is booting from the 
newly created VDisk that we have just created. So wait for it to boot. And parallelly, let me download few applications. I do not want to have some heavy application. So what will be the little size? So let install VLC media player. <coughs> so what we will do, we will push that application into new VDisk. It's still booting, so let's wait for it. What happens to my internet? Okay. It is some little bit slow, so no worry. Or maybe that website is slow. Okay, so we can download it from here. <coughs> Okay, so our uh, media player is getting downloaded. Oh, ho, it is an offline setup of just 5 MB and uh, I do not want my uh, like, you know, virtual machine to connect to internet. So what I will do, we have to download some offline version of any other software. Okay, 7 zip will be fine then. Let's download it. Perfect. It is getting downloaded now. It is a small size application. So let me copy it from here. And now we have to log into our target device. Our target device is booted now. So let me log in here into my target device. So once I log in, you will be able to see a target device is booted from this v disk that we have just created go to the stores and where is to this one correct so let's wait for it to initialize in the meantime let me paste it's not allowing me to paste the vlc 7 chip anyway let me try it again no Now it's allowed me to paste. So now <laughs> if I go here into the PBS, you can see this is booted from the VDIX that we have just created and it is in maintenance mode. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to install 7-zip application actually we are just updating the vdx it doesn't matter what you are installing or what you are not installing okay so no worries let's see 7-zip installed because 7-zip is here now and now parallelly what we can do we can uninstall one of the application so let me uninstall WinRAR because we already having 7-zip. Okay, so let me uninstall it. Okay, so now what we did, we have installed one application and we have removed another application. Correct. So now this updates has been done in a similar way. You can update the VDIX as per your requirement. So no worries. Close it. And let me delete that as well. Now we are good to shut down our VDisk. <coughs> or the target device. So let's wait for it to shut down. Then let's wait for it. Okay, so our target device is shut down now. Now go back to the PBS console again. And from here, 
we have already made some changes in this VDIS, correct? Now, what we have to do, we have to promote this VDIX, correct, to production. So, just select this and click on promote. And you are having two options here, like you can test it, you can test it, or you can directly publish it into the production. So, I'm okay with to, you know, <coughs> push it into the production, but in real infra, you always have to test the VDIX before pushing into the production, but for our education purpose, it is completely fine. So I have selected the production or either you can schedule it, whatever the time you want to push into the production, it's totally up to you. But right now I'm going to immediate, okay? So click okay. And within some time, you will get the green check mark on version two. Why? Because in version two, we have made some changes and we have now we are promoting this VDX into the production. So let's wait for it. So as you can see here, the current version is two now. Click on done. And from device collections, what you have to do? You have to right click property and you have to make into you have to change the type from maintenance to production okay so we are good now so now our v disk has been updated so how to test it go back here and power on this machine and in some time you will see The V disk name just uh, over the screen actually it's gone right now. The V disk name is same. This one, the two, this one, correct. So I will show you. Wait for it. So our machine is booting now, and as per the changes, what we have done, the Windar application is gone now. Right, and you can see the VDX name VDX hyphen SVR 2K19.2, which we have just created as a version 2. Right, so let's wait for it to boot. So, what changes we made in this field is we have uninstalled the WinRAR and we have installed the 7 chip application. So, this is just an example. In a similar way, you can install, uninstall, or you, you can made any changes, whatever you want, correct? It's totally up to you or up to the requirement, what do you have? So let's wait. So our target device is booted now. And right now it is running on the version two of VDX, what versioning we have selected. Let's wait for it. So you can see it's again creating a desktop personalizing things means our V disk has been updated for this target device. So in a similar way with uh, simple steps, you can upgrade multiple V disks at a time. Okay, so if I can show you here onto the start, wait for it into the V disk. As you can see here, our V disk is updated now, and our current V disk is dot two. Right, friends? So this is how we can update the V disk, or this is how we uh, we can versions the V disk, and <coughs> this is the similar way through which you can easily update the V disk. In upcoming videos, I will show you how to reset. A VDIS. So this is done from this video. If you are getting some knowledge from my videos, please do subscribe my channel, share my videos, like my videos. Thank you very much.